Welcome again Aussie campers to another campsite review. This time we're exploring a little stretch of paradise called Kankuna Beach just south of Bundaberg and a part of the Burham Coast National Park. So sit back, crack open a can or pour your favourite drink while we explore what it'll take to get you out to this stunning stretch of coastline. So, if you're travelling from Bundaberg, it's 45 minutes south on a mix of bitumen road and sandy tracks, which during wet conditions may be closed as the road passes through low-lying swampy areas. Camping permits are required to camp at Kinkuna. Prices are $6.75 per person per night or $27 per family per night. You can book online anytime on Queensland National Park's website or you can acquire a permit over the counter at Woodgate Beach General Store. But if you're more inclined to book online, the permit tags are available at information shelters via the northern and southern entrances to the beach. It's recommended that you access the campsites by high clearance four-wheel drive only and it's not recommended to tow low clearance trailers or caravans. There are 40 unmarked sites along this beautiful stretch of beach. There aren't any facilities, but open fires are allowed as long as the fire bans aren't in place at the time. And you must bring your own milled timber to use as firewood as it is an offence to collect firewood in the National Park. Fishing at Kinkuna is supposed to be not without its rewards, but I wouldn't take my word for it, I'd have more luck at catching a cold. I have heard if you throw a cast net out at the river mouth, you're likely to catch some live bait. And if you're feeling lucky, throw a few crab pots out into the mangroves. I have heard a few local success stories. Otherwise, you are spoilt for choice with 11 kilometers of beach, Kuna, one mile, and Theodolite creeks to fish until you're like me and you come to terms with the fact that the fish really don't want a big catch and release Rex Hunt kiss from you. <laughs> Devastating, I know. And depending on your network provider, you may get some reception at camp, but if you're booking online, I would recommend doing it before you get there. Unfortunately, man's best friend isn't permitted in the national park. There are a few rules which I guess I should stipulate. Um, one thing I do like about Kinkuna though, it is fairly relaxed. To keep to defined vehicle tracks and walking trails, camp in designated areas to avoid damage to vegetation and take your rubbish home with you. If you carry it in, carry it out. And remember guys, don't destroy what you came to enjoy. So guys, that just about wraps up another Aussie campsite review. If you'd like some more information or 360 footage of the campsites, please click the links above. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next Aussie campsite adventure. Cheers guys.